I know we just got here, but I feel safe already. I like Khalid and Jahira. They seem like good people, and my father trusted them. Imowen is already quite comfortable with them, but then she does seem to trust just about anyone right away. She seems so innocent, as I was just a few days ago, until the first two men that came to kill me. That was one thing, but losing... Losing my father, whom I love very much, was much, much worse, and I think putting it all together has me on edge until I got to the Friendly Arm Inn. I almost don't want to leave it now, but I know we have to. If they found us just outside the inn, then more will come and we cannot stay here for that long. I was just able to talk Jahira into leaving tomorrow morning. Early, she said, but I think she understands. This is a safe harbor in the midst of a raging storm for me. I just want to feel something, anything but pain. Alcohol could help. I've heard of people drowning their sorrows plenty of times. I've just never done it before, but I certainly feel the need for it. I suppose that this isn't keeping with being a follower of Lathander. The words, from death, life, keeps repeating itself. I also appreciate much of the goddess Sunni. Fine love and beauty in all things and all that. Neither are helping me right now. But I must do something. Yes, I know Imowen says I'm an idiot for falling for that true love stuff, but I love to read about those tales in Candlekeep. To each their own. All I know is that my old comforts are gone, and I must forge new ones. I know we should keep on running, but I feel Fine. safe here with Khalid and Jahira. Plus we have things to buy, and we've got to sleep. It's been dreadful slow business lately. None too many travelers have been through lately with the supposed troubles down south, so what can I do for you? What do you have to sell me? I have to get this investigated. With the magic charm is on there. Um, I don't want to sell my book bag, but I do want to open it. We have these spells. Could use the gold for it right now. And you can take that. Another sword for me. Oop, not this one. 22 gold. We have quite a fair bit. I never thought we'd reach this amount. Some more arrows to split between me and Imowen. Stock up on arrows. And they don't have any... Hmm. Okay, just leather armor then. One for Imowen. And that's it. Oh, Jahira. That's right. She will need... And a... Sling. Hmm. Okay. Here we are, traveling the good road. Some grand adventure we're having, huh? Not exactly what we used to daydream about, but still kind of exciting, I guess. I'd rather be out here going places and doing things than be stuck in Candle Keep, cleaning out stables and turning down beds. It has been interesting, to say the least, Timowen. Not quite what I had in mind either, but it's not like I have a choice. That's we, remember? And, yeah, suppose we don't have much choice at that. Still, we can do a lot of good, I think. I wonder if they'll t make a tale of our adventures. Just think, one day folks will be in the common room of some inn, maybe even the Candlekeep Inn, and ask a bar to tell Emma a tale of Imowen the Quick and her trusty sidekick, Orin. Sidekick? Oh, okay. We'll be partners, I suppose. What do you think? Imowen the Quick sounds good to you? Quick with a blade and wit? All the best heroes and heroines have handles. Hmm, maybe Imowen the Terrible? Nah, too dark. Imowen the Bold? Imowen the Sly? Imowen the Magnificent? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Uh, how about Imowen the Shashu? I'm thinking, where was I? I still kind of like Imowen the Quick. I wonder if it's taken already. And yes, Bentley did tell us there's some sort of trouble to the south in Nashville. Do you have an image problem? We need to spend the night. And we're out of healing potions, but Jahira apparently has uh, healing capability. Let's see... Imowen. 
requires leather armor and some more arrows. I've always been faster at finding the bow than anyone, even my longbow compared to a short bow. And the longsword for me. I can drop the quarter staff. We won't need that, and they won't buy it. But we have to rest. We'd like to rent a room. A nice, luxurious, your best one, if we could. We'll sleep during the day. Come down and eat, and maybe see if there's any rumors that we could follow up on about who's after me. And just mingle to see what the general temperament is of the people here. Fine. Yes. Hello. Ah, uh, new face in this cloistered place. Stand by my side and let's talk for a while. What brings you here, traveler? I was an apprentice blacksmith under Terum Furium in Berigost. With the iron situation being what it is, however, I thought I'd better head somewhere else. Waterdeep, maybe. Terum's having enough trouble making a go as it is. So what are you talking about, an image problem? Uh, yes. The, uh, a tab. Um... Uh, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Mm -hmm. Hello there. I find myself in need of coin. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sam, a bard of no small ability. Could I interest you in commissioning some of my work? That depends. Exactly what kind of services can you offer? Well, I can spread the word of your accomplishments, perhaps in a different light. For a small amount of coin, I can sing your praises to the countryside in a way that makes you appear more powerful, more intimidating, perhaps more worthy, worthy of fear. Your coin would be better spent learning news of our foes. Balance demands that I say neither yea nor nay, but gold demands spending. Do with it what you will. I, I don't know, Oren. It, it seems easy, and I've never t trusted anything that was easy. What s sort of poems are we discussing? Wow, Oren, we could be famous without ever leaving home. Just think of what old Puffguts would say if he could hear about Imo and the Great and her bold party of intrepid adventurers. It is an attractive offer, though it might be nicer to find someone to spread words about our good deeds instead. I have a wide variety of things I can offer discerning, a discerning customer. What do you say? Why would I pay someone to malign me? Not everyone wishes to do business with someone who is quite so honest. It is true that we have strayed far from the balance. Perhaps some misinformation would provide a counter counterbalance to our actions. Hmm. No, no, thank you. I do not need your services today. Well, if you change your mind, I am performing here regularly. Very interesting. A bar that will perform to make you look bad? Hello. Hello. You're a traveler too, aren't you? Let me guess. Baragost? Candlekeep? How did you guess? You have the book about you. Remind me of the first time I left home. Of course, back then I was only 15, and truth be told, you look much more capable than I was. Will you allow me to buy you a drink? Sure. Where are you from? Far away, but I was born in the north, in Kaldahar, if you can believe that. Here's your drink. I've ordered mashed potatoes, but with so many travelers about, the cook's probably forgotten. Still a beach shivering in the wilderness. Excuse my dreadful manners, I've never even asked you your name. Then again, do I need to? Anonymity brings a certain coziness to these encounters, I've found. I feel I can trust him. I'm Orn. A name that matches your face, I'll remember it. Sometimes you see a stranger in the night, and you feel it's a person you can trust, like now. I actually feel the same way about him. I don't get the sense our roads will cross again. You're starting out, and my road leads me well away. But I love your smile, and I don't wish this evening to end abruptly. So what do you propose? Tell you what. Why don't we enjoy a meal in my room, the two of us? Let me steal something from the kitchen. We'll have a feast. <laughs> my first adventure on the road, and I meet an attractive stranger. Just my luck. Shameless flattery. You're doing better than I am. But yes, it means what it means. My room is first on the right on the top floor. Come if you want. Do 
I go. It is evening time. I let them know that I'd be okay going upstairs. First room on the right. Such menial tasks. I don't think it's that one. Did he say top floor? Top floor. A simple matter. Uh, hello. I'm glad you came. I haven't asked when we were. I'm glad you came. I haven't asked when we weren't alone, but you aren't in trouble, are you? And if you are, is there anything I can do? People are hunting me. There seems to be a bounty on my head. Luckily, not a huge bounty, given how you are still alive. Hmm. I wish I could have a talk with the man who issued that. But never mind me. In my experience, such things resolve themselves in time, and generally not in favor of those who try to abuse young girls. I will protect you tonight. This I promise. Of course. If you're in trouble with the Legion and Rakasha, then we are probably dead anyway. But I did promise you a dinner, and I delivered. In Kalimshan, they serve lamb differently, and in Karatur, hardly ever at all. But here, in Bentley Mirache's establishment, they cook it the old-fashioned way. Have a bite and tell me what you think. Hmm, very good. Delivered by yours truly, I hope you'll remember this eve with a fond smile. Speaking of which, given how we're set in this inn for the night, are you staying with me? I want you to stay. <sighs> Assassins on my tail, my old home and family gone. Why the hell not? Let's go crazy big time. Now you're talking, and I can't get <laughs> some enticing images out of my head. Come here, to the couch. Let's do this properly. I'm going to kiss you right now, and if we do it right, oh, if we do it right... Let's just turn off the light. As my beautiful lady commands. I've never enjoyed a night so keenly. I'd lie if I said I wanted it to end. I'd rather it lasted a while longer, too. We can talk for a while before the rest of the inn wakes up. Would you want to? Sure, tell me more about yourself. Ha, huh, wrong order, isn't it? But I am glad to oblige. Let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, there lived a boy, Kaldahar, under the great tree that never froze, even in the harshest winters. Once his father, a simple farmer, told him the boy was to go to the druids to study and live with them. Druids were important to Kaldahar, and the grove paid well for new apprentices. But the boy didn't want to go. He wanted to become an adventurer, a captain, a trader, to see the world, to choose his own destiny. But most of all, he wanted to stay with his family until he grew up. Hmm. Did his father let him stay? He wasn't given a choice. Upon hearing the boy's protest, his father grabbed him and threw him out of the house, forbidding him to come back. Either the druids or the cold will get you, he said. But the cold didn't get the boy. He slept in the stables, worked hard, and finally got on a ship to Memnon, where he escaped slavery by bare margins. Instead, he became a trader's apprentice, for he could read and write. In two years, he became the youngest caravan master in Memnon. A year after, he sent ten times what the druids paid for him to his father and never talked about him since. But tonight, he remembered. Will you go back someday to Kaldahar? I don't know. I thought I'd forgotten that part of my life, and yet tonight... Tell me of your family, if you will. Where were you born? I don't remember, but I grew up in Keep under the kind tutelage of my foster father, Gorion. We have that in common, don't we? A sheltered, protective home for many years, and suddenly you're alone in the streets. But you survive. You remember, but... You move on. Yes, and sometimes fortune smiles on you. Let me tell you how beautiful you are one last time. Anne, but the dawn is breaking. My heart begs me to take you to Kalimport. But that is impossible, isn't it? Still, it was a lovely night. That it was, and it's going to be a beautiful day. I'll leave first, then you just... You'll just be leaving an empty room. No gossip, no scandal, and I really don't want to stay here long after you're gone anyways. I wish you luck and joy, my beautiful stranger, and be well. Until perhaps one night. Wait, what is your name? Quentin. Just Quentin? Just Quentin. Until then.
Fine. Fine. Oh, what do I even say? Let's go upstairs. The looks from the other people don't really bother me. A simple matter. I know what I did. Such menial tasks. Don't bother with the rich, well-to-do. Oh, hello. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Have you heard? There's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of the Friendly Arm Inn. I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. Wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you can get that belt back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. Interesting. If I run into the ogre that has it, of course. There's people sleeping in their rooms. Let's go to the top floor. A simple matter. What? Such menial. Pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I've got a teeny bit of a spider infestation happening in my cellar in Baragos. I was on my way to the gate to get some poison, but this would be a lot easier on my legs, to be honest. You'll know the house when you see it. It's right to the west of the Jovial Juggler Inn. Bring back their bodies to prove you've done the job, and I'll give you 100 gold pieces. If you could, please bring my husband's old boots and my old bottle of wine back as well. I'll throw in something extra. Okay. Seems like we've been given two quests. Go to Berghost and get her... Kill the spiders. Get a bottle of wine and boots. And find some ogre that took... That uh, halfling woman. Her belt. Let's go downstairs. Such menial tasks. Fine. Please, seek yourselves whatever you wish. Before we stayed for the rest of the time that we were here, we had a few things to drink. Wine. Bitter black ale. Beer. Unfortunately, we had trouble getting people to talk to us. You hear of the Midsummer Fair down in Nashville? I hear it's actually doing quite well, despite all the trouble that's, that Towns had recently. I hear some sort of trouble in, is in Nashville. Something sinister has been moving about in the Nashville mines. Nobody seems to know for sure, but too busy coping with abandoned raids and such. I hear relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Am of all the raiding that's been happening along the roads. Not a good thing to go accusing the most powerful country in the Western world. Out of curiosity, I did want to just Fine. say hello to this half-orc. Mm, it's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing would please me more. Brooding half work. Fine. So we decided to leave it quite early in the morning. You are welcome here in Gile Glittergold's sight. For a bit of a respectful coin, we can cure what ails you. If you need, what cures do you have available? I would like this identified, this belt. Ah, 100% cold resistance, doubles all fire-based damage taken though. Not that we have much coin. Hmm. We do have heals from Jahira. Thank you very much. I think maybe Khalid should wear this. Fine. Fine.
It's actually a fair size keep. A lot of people live here. And the Howder housing. As well as the the Mirachets who own the keep itself. Hello. A simple matter. Sorry for barging in so early. Ew, pal. Lots of work in Nashville, I hears, but I says no, because I ain't going down to no mine. You've got to be a fool to work underground at the best of times, but you would be completely crazy to do it now. Something severely wrong Such with the mines. Menial tasks. Last stop. A simple matter. Hello? Yes? Hey there. You're new here, aren't you? Could I trouble you for a moment? Speak... Uh, certainly, my lady. Speak your mind. Such manners. Well, I need a gruff hand for this task, so keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins within sight of this very inn's walls, and then I need you to return the favor. They took my ring, and that's all I want back. Will you do it? Push it. Anyone pushes me in the ribs. Our finesse is unappreciated here, my good lady. I will help you. I thank you. The creatures were just north of the inn. I swear I could almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back when you get it. You'll know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring and very striking. A simple matter. Oops. We'll do that right away then. Just around the outside of this keep. Goblins here. further north. 